Welcome back to Take Two. It's time for our Get Dirty segment. We're talking all things fall and October floral arrangements. And also, we're talking about what you can do with extra herbs. This morning, we have our favorite Kathleen Yoshinaga with the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association here with some tips for us. Good morning. Good morning. Happy fall. Happy fall. So, what cool. do you have for us when it comes to fall? Because well, floral, when you mm -hmm. think of it, I think for me, at least for Halloween, you think orange. Right. And I love what you brought for us right. today. Well, I found orange carnations, and so therefore I created a little pumpkin, uh, my own little jack o' lantern. And this is great for October, November. And this top here is just a stem of, you know, the bottom stem of a, the carnation, and I cut oh, up the rest. Uh -huh. And I just made my jack o' lantern faces using old silk leaf I had. So there you can, it's so simple, but now you'll see more and more fall colors, you know. It, being sold, so you might as well make advantage, take advantage of it. And not only taking advantage of the colors, but this is so cute. This is a DIY idea that yeah. I've never seen before. Oh, thank you. I love it. You always come up with the most creative things. Ah, well, and I just wanted to say that this, you know, now is the time. Fall is here. It's mm -hmm. going to be there for about two more months. You make use of it. Definitely. Okay. So, but. And also at the same time, too, now that we're ending out of summer, you know, I, I don't know, but my garden had over proliferation of all my plants, my basil, my green onions, my parsley, all went nuts with this humid weather we, we've had this last couple weeks. That's good news, though. Well, That's the opposite of what mine oh, did as they shriveled up and oh, turned no. brown. But, <laughs> okay, so if you have this problem, you know, you have a lot of these extra herbs, and you want to save it for now the winter months, and just let me show you what you can do. Green onion, for example, you should harvest it by the, you know, Take it out with the root. Don't just pull it out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, cut about, you know, cut it off about three inches or so above the root. And then from there, the bottom portion, you put it in water. And then this is about a week or two afterwards. And it, it just started sprouting now. So you can start growing this again. And can and, you just do that, like, in, because I see you have this yeah. over here. You can just do it in a cup? Yeah, in a cup oh, of water. Wow. And, but the top portion of it now, okay, you, you have the top, you know, you don't want to cook with it right away. Right. So keep it in a wet paper towel in a bag like this and keep it upright or so in your refrigerator. Now, you can keep it for about two to three weeks easy. Wow. Do it that long. way. Yeah, yeah. It'll last a long time, but if not, if you have a lot, 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 you can always cut it up, saute it with some oil, add miso, sugar, mirin, mm. and then this becomes a nice little side dish. Right? That's vegetable delicious. side dish. Okay, let me go on to parsley now. Okay. Okay, so parsley, this little cup of parsley has been in my fridge for two weeks. Okay. Wow. Now, two you, weeks? Yeah, two weeks at least. And it's so fresh. And you got to remember that parsley stems are like flowers, you know, flower stems. You can cut the stem and then it'll just take water. So cut the stem, put it in a little cup of water and cover it maybe with plastic wrap and put it in your refrigerator. It'll just thrive in there. It'll be fine. Yeah. I didn't know that it was and, like that with flower okay. stems. And yes. also basil, by the way. Basil, basil, you can do the same? You can do the same <laughs> with basil, all kinds of basil. But with basil, it doesn't like the cold weather, the coldness of the right, refrigerator. Right. So that's why you just leave it out on your counter, kitchen counter, and it'll be good for two to three weeks right. easily. And you can just take up what you need. Uh -huh. But if you have way too much of basil. And that's what, the one thing that actually is doing well in my garden. Basil, basil is flourishing. Okay. So now you take your basil leaf, you clip, you clean it, mm -hmm. you know, wash it well, dry it, and clip it up. You know, just clip it up with a scissors or a knife, and you can put it in an ice cube tray like this, uh -huh. and then mm -hmm. add maybe a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there, freeze the whole thing, and you'll have a nice flavored ice cube, uh -huh. an oil ice cube that you can take out when you need to for sauteing or cooking. Uh, you can also do the same thing with rosemary Ooh. and thyme, too. So you, you have already in, infused oil right out of your freezer. And you can put it straight into the pan. You can put it straight into the pan, but be careful because it is an ice cube. It might right, splatter. Right. Uh, you might want to thaw a little bit first before okay. you put it in the pan, but perfect. And Genius. it's already pretty measured. That is so smart. You know, okay, uh, there's a... Um, product at uh -huh. Trader Joe's that's similar yeah. but it's frozen but garlic and yeah. I would always say, have my mom whenever she came out bring me these I could just make it myself right <gasps> you could brilliant I it's love just this olive idea oil and just an ice cube tray and your herbs oh my goodness Perfect. okay I am doing that Kathleen thank you so much <laughs> for joining us this morning and as always delivering us such awesome tips so handy mm.
All right. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, Marwee, come back. Stay with us. Awesome. Cute.